What is up, my Hollywood Warriors? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm joined by Mikkel Christiansen, who's a professional hand balancer and a teacher. I've been to one of his seminars in Wildfoot as part of the Motion Impulse Balance Creation. Today he's going to take us through some of the key points to keep in mind when it comes to starting when you're learning the one arm handstand. So, me currently at the beginning of learning and embracing the stuff when it comes to this. Um, I'm personally very interested in it. So he's just going to share some of his tips from over 10 years of experience hand balancing. First thing I would say for like learning the one arm handstand uh, is like building up like sort of an ultimate control over the two arm handstand is of course like it's it's a prerequisite in many ways but what I see very often is people just like stay on two arms with a straight shape for a very long time. Um, while that isn't necessarily a bad thing, it's great. Uh, what matters more is that you have a solid control of like the spatial dimensions um, as you're in your handstand. So learning to straddle the legs, close the legs, tuck handstand, tuck handstand, really, really important, tuck life, very, very important. Because all of these things teach you to be immobile in the shoulders and stay on top in the shoulders regardless of where your legs move. So that's like, I would say a, the key thing that like a, a, someone transitioning for like from an intermediate stage of like two arm work um, and solid press to handstand would be a good thing to have I would say. From there I think I would say that when it comes to the actual technique of one arm handstand what's super important is to understand again spatial dimensions where the legs are moving as you're transitioning. Uh, so a very common mistake, uh, because it's the intuitive thing the body will do, is to shift the, si the hips over sideways rather than shifting them over diagonally. So if you watch like literally every single professional hand balancer out there, their hips will be diagonally aligned above the shoulder, uh, which brings so that the sacrum is straight on top of, if you would draw a line from hand to shoulder to hip, uh, the hip will be diagonally, so the legs will be like that, and then there will be a straight straight line through the arm to, to, through to the hip. One more tip, uh, suffer. That is the, my, like, that's the main thing about it. Like you need to learn the fight. And the fight is one of these things that no one can teach you. Like you are the only one who can teach yourself how to balance it because it's, you're literally like reorganizing how your reflexes uh, are functioning in your shoulder as you're doing this because in the beginning they have no idea what to do like you're it's very heavy and you push and then you drop then it's very heavy and you push and you maybe do one correction and then you drop and then you do two corrections and three corrections and maybe you can even do five corrections of your balance but you're still not up a second and feeling it really building that mindset that you're just like you're not letting it go uh, you're really just like going for controlling it no matter what because uh, that is what will um, give you the correct feedback so that the, the body will adapt to what it actually is and that is the balance. So it seems obvious but like just don't give up, keep trying to fight it, keep trying to balance. Yeah and suffer for it like you need to like you just it's a struggle and it's like it's always a struggle even like professional hand balancers when you see them it looks perfect it's just that like the struggle is like it's small, like there's always something happening and you're always, always controlling and, and fixing mistakes. It's just that, just as we, as we do when we're on our feet, it's just we don't sense that we're actually doing tons and tons of small corrections in our feet and hips and knees and all that to keep the center of mass over the base of support. It's just that this is a small base of support and our shoulders aren't as big as our butts, <laughs> basically. So to summarize, we've got build a solid awareness in the two arm handstand, whether that's in tuck, whether mm -hmm. that's moving around different shapes, then you've got learn to tilt and arrange the legs in a way that allows you to get into that one arm position and stack that shoulder. Mm. And finally, suffer Indeed. and just fight for the one arm handstand yeah. and understand that it's a long time yeah. and it's gonna take time to develop. If you are watching this video and as it goes up, I'm pretty sure there is a workshop that Mikhail is hosting in London. So if you're based in London and you're into one arm handstands, make sure you go check that out. The links in the description down below as well with links to Mikel's Instagram and other good stuff. But that has been it for this week, guys. Have a strong and balanced week. Peace. Awesome. That's super nice, huh?